My name is Oinda Maladif Sayo. I am a graduate student in the Immunology and Microbial Pathogenesis program at Weill Cornell, and I am in my sixth year now. I love talking about biology. I could talk about biology forever, and I knew I was going to be in the sciences for a very long time. Now, my experience at ALA brought me to three very influential scientists in my life. Mr. Scudder, Mr. Rubin, Mr. Jampo. I still think about science the same way that I learned how to think about science while I was at ALA. So after ALA, I was very excited about going to Clark. I did my first degree in biology, but I had a minor in French. And, and actually that was because of the experience that I had where many of my classmates at ALA were francophone. I thought if I wanted to work on the continent, I should be able to speak at least another one of the languages that the continent speaks. As a student, I worked in a lab while I was also carrying on classes, and that was what continued to maintain my interest in research. I was doing very basic science research on Drosophila, a tiny little fly that has contributed a lot to what we know about human genetics and how it could be related to disease in humans. After my four years at the university, I applied for a PhD. I am studying the DNA damage response in mycobacterium tuberculosis. As most people are aware, Africa suffers from a high burden of TB, as well as multi-drug and extensively drug-resistant TB that kills a lot of people. Right now, if you get TB, you're treated for six months, um, and that's a very long, toxic process. And I'm trying to figure out ways that we are able to shorten that time and also reduce the burden of drug-resistant TB. I believe that the reason why I made it into Wild Cornell Graduate School was the research experience that I had prior to applying for a PhD, and that's you know my experience at the NIH, as well as my experience at KRIF in, uh, in Durban, South Africa. Both of those I got through my connections through ALA. Science education on the continent, unfortunately, is lacking in many ways. So I don't just want to use my research to find new drugs. I want to use it as a space to increase the interest in the sciences and to build capacity for scientific research on the African continent. And I'm just so excited to be able to jump in and talk to as many students as possible and try to keep them interested in the sciences. The experience that I've had at ALA since then is unbelievable. ALA actually helped me to build that personality where I knew that I would just take advantage of whatever was offered to me and I'm forever grateful to everyone involved in that.